Well, I'm here in Austin, and as you know, it's been a very exciting weekend. <clears throat> a very exciting weekend of the mize of the Teslas. You know how it goes. So what am I doing? Well, rumor has it, I'm driving a Model Y. This will be a first time. First time for me. First time for everything. Here we go. Hopping in to the Model Y. Oh, that's a comfy seat. I like it. See, uh, how the seats adjust. I see. Got these, uh, the factory stubby legs. This is Larry, who is gracious and crazy enough to let me, uh, to let me drive his car. So we'll see how that goes. Fantastic. Just got done with Tesla Comp. For those who, uh, attempted to watch the live stream, my apologies. There was no, uh, there was no uh, sound check. There was no sound rehearsal. There was no rehearsal of any kind. And the live streaming portion, they only started dealing with about two days ago. <sighs> Which makes for a bit of a, a bit of a cluster. Mirrors. Down. So that you select whether you want to do the left one or the right one, or uh -huh. the scroll wheel oh, on see. the steering wheel. I see the scroll wheel. There we go. Okay. Save. Mm -hmm. And then I just uh, take it out of park. You take it out of park here. Oh, I see. It's got a stock. Put it on the brake all the way down. All the way down. Yep. Oh, there we go. I've got it on. No, you're uh, well, all the way. Go all the way down. All the way down. There we go. All right. I hand this to you for a minute. Of course. <clears throat> to prevent, I, do I have a parking brake? No. Oh, I see. I see. Do you know where we're going? No, I don't. In 500 feet, turn right onto Tierney Drive. I see. I see. So I had... Ooh, ooh, take me a little bit to get used to that. I had a 2008 Zen Electric Neighborhood EV. And that was fascinating. It was a terrible, terrible little car, but it was so cute and so fun. And just a nightmare. Boy, it's crisp, is what it is. Uh, very responsive. And if you want to, come to a complete stop here. Uh -huh. Wait for yeah, that guy. whatever this guy is to get past us. Mm -hmm. And then punch it as hard as you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going in there. I'm going to pretend like I'm pulling over a little here. Don't stop, don't stop. Here we go. All the way to the floor. camera will appear down here uh -huh. and uh, if you don't click it all the way down then it will do three blinks and turn off okay so a soft click is okay mm -hmm. and if you're an autopilot and you turn on the blinker it will change lanes automatically <laughs> and in order to get to autopilot the uh, stock on the right hand side down twice okay. and then the car will take over it will perform all the steering accelerating and braking not, oh, not in the middle of an intersection uh -huh. oh, down some twice 
pay you. So now you don't have to steer, you don't have to brake, you don't have to accelerate. Uh, it's coming up on traffic, I promise it will slow down appropriately. It's nerve wracking at first, but I promise it will not rear end this person in front of us. Now turn right onto North Farm to Market 973. So there was a speaker today who had a very good point about FSD and how you want to take over, how you feel like you need to intervene. And his point was, my brother drove me today. Do you know how many times I wanted to intervene? And it's like, you know what? I don't care how good of a driver you are, I'm always second guessing you. Yep. Unless I'm not paying attention. Now, it will not make this turn right okay. here. Oh yeah, especially. Because it doesn't have the uh, FSD yeah, yeah. package. To disengage Go the on. autopilot, you can either touch the brake, yep. or you can press down once on the right stock. Okay. <coughs> and because my blinker's on, yep. I've got the side camera. And you have the side. The front repeater, whatever. Yes. And uh, while you're driving, if you move the steering wheel, if you take over, if it will automatically take the steering aspect and give it to you. However, you will still be in uh, like the cruise, the cruise control. control. Yeah. Wow. This is. And you, you can accelerate as much as you want. Holy shit. You're sorry. not going to bother me. No, I, mean, I was apologizing to you. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. But, but you can. Because we were going up a hill and we already had some speed. That's not normally a power band. No, from, from any spot that you're at, it will pull. God. And it will pull hard all the way. This particular one will pull hard all the way up to 137 miles an hour. And this is a performance? No, this is long the long range, range with the... Uh, it does have the speed boost. Gotcha. You know, Galley on Hyperchange did a video before and after performance boost where he raced against another Tesla and then he got the and then he downloaded it live on camera did it again and won the second time the performance boost is something that is absolutely noticeable absolutely absolutely there is no question that there is a huge difference on the bottom end Whenever it sees this blinking light up here, uh -huh. it's going to start to uh, back off a little bit. Really? And whenever it sees that there is a stoplight, it will stop for every stoplight, red or green, if you were first in line. If you are following another vehicle through a green light, it will continue to go. I am not doing this moment anything at all now when this lead vehicle when he takes off this car will follow him through now it says to apply a slight turning force all you got to do is touch it oh, oh. So it knocked it out knocked it out yep. too much force just be touching the wheel is generally enough either touching the wheel or if it asks you to apply force to the wheel if you use it didn't go in you can tell it goes in when the uh yeah whenever weird. those blue lines come on why was it speeding up oh because it was still in uh cruise oh. control yeah it, uh, gotcha. but uh so the blue lines tell me that tells you that it is in full autopilot wow and and if, autopilot's what's standard right yes and if it asks you to uh, apply pressure to the wheel, if you just move one of the scroll wheels, oh, the steering wheel up or down, then that just gives it the acknowledgement that you actually have uh, your hand on the wheel. <coughs> now, while you're driving, you can change the speed with the right scroll wheel up or down up to five miles over the speed limit. See, if that's not enough, you can give it accelerator and it will stay engaged in autopilot. If you go above 90 miles per hour in autopilot, autopilot will disengage and lock you out. <laughs> until you stop, 
put your car in park, and then resume your travels. I think that's completely reasonable. Sure. I think that's completely reasonable. And uh, sometimes when you've got to get around a truck on the highway, mm -hmm. and you're already doing 75 or 80, right? only having that 10 mile an hour buffer is not enough. And if you're not paying attention to take it out of autopilot before you attempt the maneuver. I, I instinctively hit the brakes. Mm -hmm. Now that is, I'm going to tell you right now, that is a problem that's more unique to Texas because most, you know, I would never in my routine travels hit 90. Our speed limits top out at 70 and we're out of the city. Um, and, you know, 90 is, is not something that happens on accident in my world because, of, because we're, Texas, for the uninitiated, Texas is a fairly large, uh, a fairly large place. Is it going to freak out with the right lane ending? Uh, I'm not going to, I'm going to take over because I don't, no, want, it will, I don't it, want to cut into the middle of a funeral procession. That, I don't think autopilot, full FSD I'm sure is totally aware of uh, funeral processions and the sanctity of life, the celebration, its beginning and ends. It, this is wild. And if you feel that you're following too closely on the right scroll wheel, if you go left or right, push it over, then it will increase or decrease your follow distance. Okay. Because I don't, I don't feel like tailgating the dead, but. Uh, well, we know there are some live people in that car. <laughs> Only because it's not a Tesla. That My concern true. is when Grandma gets in the car, in her Waymo self-driving car, and presses I'm feeling lucky, and it decides to take her to see the grandchildren, and, it, and she arrives a three-day desiccated corpse. That will happen, but it's a small price to pay for progress. If you hang one finger on the steering wheel, that's generally enough. That'll, that will pretty much do it. It, it just wants to know that you're there. Mm -hmm. And just ever now and then. Larry had been hovering conveniently at 99 for ages, waiting for that button to download. And, uh, and then he uh, let, a, let another fan test drive his car, get the full experience. And uh, yeah, that 99 is down to an 88. So he had some fun. No, I'll opt out and not back in. Yeah, have I done anything that you think would get below a 99? No. Uh, the uh, biggest issue is ever touching the brake instead of letting the regen do it all. And you have to learn the regen. You have to figure out when you need to let off the accelerator when you're driving. But if you touch the brake, then almost any amount of force will give you hard braking on your on your safety score oh okay so it's hard braking i thought it <coughs> sounded like it's punishing you for not trusting the system we want folks who trust the system it's taking you back up to uh 290 east all right all right That's... i've noticed that it does a lot of oh, really strange routing traffic avoidance yeah interesting yeah it's right. i have it set to where if it is uh if there's a faster route, yeah, then, yeah. then to take you up. Now, uh, would it recognize that stop sign? Yes. Okay. On this the particular road that we're on, because it doesn't have a center stripe, yeah. you cannot engage autopilot. Oh. You have to have... You can okay. get it in... Uh, cruise. Cruise, and it will stop at the stop signs and mm -hmm. stop lights. There was a great video. I don't remember who it was now. Might have been. Uh, it was George Hotz from Comma AI. Yeah. And the question was, when will they just allow self-driving? And he said they don't have to. Well, you, you ask them one question at a time. Um, my car can drive straight. Can I let it drive straight? Of course. That's basically cruise control. It can tell that's a stop sign. Is it permitted to do? So? Yes. It can auto brake. Okay, can it resume it? 
one step at a time. Each one of those steps makes sense, makes safety better. Now, I, I do hope we get a generational step all the way to level four or five, but yeah, I like an aggressive regen like that. One pedal driving. Now, you know what these um, little strip malls remind me of is every city. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, you get off the freeway one exit too far and say, oh, well, look, a, a Best Buy and a Target. How about that? And a, and a Starbucks inside the Starbucks. A car like this, it almost doesn't matter how close they are or how fast they're going, you did not cut them off. My biggest concern is making other, other drivers uncomfortable, mm -hmm. not me. Being you unable get to get out of their way. Exactly. Oh, let's engage it. Oh boy, it does a really good job of not ping ponging on uh, well extreme, extremely wide lanes. Oh, it it will a little bit. It's a lot better about it now than what it used to be. Mm -hmm. uh, when you have, say, on ramp or mm -hmm. off ramp lanes that become more narrow or less narrow sure. then it will shift to the center when it's wide and then it'll have to shift back as it narrows again gotcha so uh, there's still a little bit of work to be done in that regard however uh it's getting better and in better 1, all the time feet, turn right onto ring drive So now if you just turn on the blinker again, it'll get over right there. As, as long as it's not an illegal lane change. It won't, right on change. Right. it won't go across the white? No, it won't. The solid white, it yeah. will not. That's great. So while we're winding down here, my assessment is the speed, of course, ridiculous. The braking, no idea. I've heard good things. I know what brakes are. I'm not impressed with brakes necessarily. I'm sure they're fantastic because of the quality of the traction control system. Um, the handling, you know, we didn't really push it. The comfort overall, but my gosh, the people who say this is a spaceship are not kidding around. This is, I don't remember who's famous for saying this phrase, orders of magnitude more technological than I am used to. And the, uh, you're talking about the brakes. Uh, mm -hmm. This particular model has smaller brakes. Okay. It's non-performance. Right. And so, Okay. After going from zero to 135 and back to zero a few times. That will. I'm not familiar with many cars that don't have brake fade after far, far less. Um, the color's fantastic. Oh, smokes, that scared me. So the assessment is uh, uh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Not sure what else to say. Best so, car I've ever owned. Best car. Larry's ever owned. The best car a lot of people have owned. It seems to be a recurrent theme. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me all your thoughts in them comments below. And of course, as always, my friends, stay tuned, stay juicy. I just can't wait to see you when I get out of the sun. Oh, God.